Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Abster and today I'm going to be doing my 13th tutorial and this tutorial is going to be on how to get the device's current language and region. It's actually fairly simple so I'm just going to get started right away. I'm going to start by making a single view application and name it language and region. So create it. Now first things first, to make a bracket and dot h and make an ID outlet for a UI label. Name that label. And then that's it for the .h. I know it's like not a lot, you know, compared to my other tutorials, but you know, it's just it's very simple to do. So in your view to load of your .m, this you copy in this code. It's actually very useful, you know, if you wanna like find out, you know, where the user it currently is and you know change uh, some settings based upon that whatever but this is just a basic way of just to get the um, the language and region and put it in a UI label so I'll read it off to you in my view load I did this and then it'll pretty much set the label when the view uh, first loads so ns string space asterisk local space equals space start bracket start bracket ns local space current local end bracket space local identi locale identifier end bracket semicolon next line start bracket label space set text colon locale end bracket semicolon and that's it for that build it make sure there's no problems while that's building I'm going to go into my XIB I'm going to drag in a label make it bigger just in case make it blank and I'm gonna change a few things first of all I'm actually going to um, connect it so I don't forget and then I'm gonna change a few things here what I'm gonna do make it centered I am also going to do word wrap and the lines will be zero so it'll pretty much wrap if it's too big the words will wrap if it's too big I don't think it should be though so once that's connected and you make uh, make sure you connected it which we did you build it switch to the simulator and run alright take a second to load All right. Wish they made it a little bit shorter, you know. They compile times, but whatever. So you'll see here that when it first loads, is that you see the language, um, the abbreviation, which is um, English EN, is like the abbreviation, I guess you could say. And then you'll also get like the region or the the country, I guess you could say, which is the U.S. So I guess there's many there's many ways to actually format this. I'm just trying to make it basic for you guys. I'm sure you can um, spell out uh, English and change that using a formatter. And then you could also like say United States or whatever. But pretty much it's separated by this little like underline here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I know it's like a really simple tutorial. But um, I find that there's really no place, you know, no tutorial on this, so I decided to create one. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, source code will be on Mega Upload, and um, thanks for watching.